my goodness, I do not believe what I've just done. Uh, just stop my toe. Argentina, Brazil, we, 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 we're just, we're going global on this channel, it's amazing. So as you can see, I went and did it anyway. I've got blonde highlights in my hair. Oh dear, what have I done? This is probably one of the most expensive sets that you can buy now. What is up everybody and welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing video here on my channel. So in today's video we have but one parcel to open but I've got a feeling that what's inside of here is going to be excellent. Or at least I hope it will be. Anyway, so let's take a look and see what we have inside today's parcel. Okay, so we've got the parcel open and first of all we have some bubble wrap which is always a good thing. We like bubble wrap usually. Anyway. So, the first thing we have here is a Wave 2 character options action figure. Can you guess which one of these it is? You've got a roughly 15% chance of guessing. So, as you can see on the back of here, it could be any one of these. Now, let's see. Comment down below with a timestamp of this part and tell me if you've guessed which one it is. I can now reveal to you all that it is indeed an Earthshock Cyberman which I'm just super happy about. I wanted to army build these Cybermen for so long, and, well, to be honest, I thought now was a good time to do it because they're really expensive and the Earthshock set's coming out soon. Yeah, I know, I probably shouldn't have spent so much money on just one figure, but who knows? The Earthshock set might not necessarily contain any Cybermen. If it doesn't, well, I think I'll probably eat my hat. But anyway, nonetheless, I wanted this figure it's a little bit damaged, um, and it was kind of described as so, so it was a little bit cheaper than it probably would have been. But no worries, because I will be opening this one and displaying it with the rest of them behind me. So moving on, we have another guess. Timestamp, if you can. You might have already seen it. <laughs> Timestamp, if you can. What you think this is going to be. Of course, it's a Cyberman, but is it the 10th planet? Is it the tomb? Is it the invasion? Or is it the cyber controller from the next Doctor. It's not that one. Let me know what you guys guessed in the comments and I can reveal to you all that it is none other than the Invasion. Cyberman coming with two legs for the Tomb Controller and a gun as well. This one will be being kept mint sealed in its packaging. I'm trying to basically recollect title of the video obviously i'm trying to recollect these ones because i love the packaging on these it's literally unique to these cybermen and uh, i just think it looks really nice the silvery color just pops it's good now the last thing inside of this box i am super excited about because it's again something that's super rare these days i don't know what like we bang this word around rare all the time and it seems to me that online at the moment like any sets that haven't been released in B&M are just worth a mint and it's getting it's getting silly but we have can you guess what it is we have a revenge of the Cybermen set now this set I'm not going to say how much I spent because you'll probably be a little bit worried about me but yeah it was very very expensive of course it comes with two cyber scouts and a cyber leader and a cyber mat and of course, a cool background of Nova Beacon. But yeah, like I say, this is probably one of the most expensive sets that you can buy now. I don't know why. It was like, what, 35 quid back in the day? And now it's a lot more, like basically triple the price. But anyway, I'm very happy to have this. So I won't be opening this. This will remain mint sealed in its packaging because it just looks banging. I think it looks really good. As it is, I already have about four of the Cybermen from this story, plus the leader. So I kind of feel like army building these is not a good idea because it's so expensive. Who knows? Maybe they'll see a re-release very soon in B&M sets of 2023. Who knows? But that is Revenge of the Cybermen. Comment down below and let me know how many Cybermen do you guys have in your collections? 
I want to know. So sadly, that is the box completely empty. So yeah, I just thought I'd have a, a little chat with you guys and see how everyone is doing. Thank you, by the way, for everybody that's not only watching my videos, subscribe to my channel and leaving comments. I literally spent like an hour the other day going through all the comments I have and it's crazy. Like I will do my absolute best to reply to everybody. It's not always easy. It's time consuming, but it's something that I love to do. Of course, I'm all over Facebook as well. So if you want to jump on the Facebook bandwagon or whatever you call it i've got i think nearly 2000 like followers or friends or whatever you call it on facebook as well so be sure to check out my facebook link is in the description of this video you can send me private messages we can have a little chat about doctor who it just yeah just 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 cool stuff really um of course i'm super excited about the bnm sets that are being released this month i'm gonna be traveling probably far and wide because my bnm's down where i live they're not very good, to be honest with you. The last couple of B&M releases, I've had to go a lot further afield. So, who knows? Maybe I will struggle. I probably will struggle. You know, I end up spending so much more money on petrol than I do on the actual sets, which is, is crazy. I really should get myself a, a bicycle and just, you know, cycle around the country. Or maybe not. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the B&M sets. I'm really looking forward to it. I, I may actually be doing a collaboration Thumbs a word, guys. You'll maybe, hopefully, see that collaboration soon. Stay tuned. Anyway, what else can I tell you? Um, like I said, I got my hair dyed blonde. It's just highlighted, but I was just kind of getting fed up with having long hair that just didn't do anything. So I thought, you know, I'll put a bit of colour into it. I'll cut it a little bit. But guess what? I still wear a hat because I'm not much of a hair person. Like I just, I just don't. I don't know, I don't get it. Hair is just hair, right? Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's see, what else can we talk about in this little kind of update blob? Blob? Vlog. <laughs> it's an update blob, everyone. Uh, yeah, the collection room is looking pretty awesome. I'm kind of at a point now where everything's in the right place, and I've started recording my collection video overhaul. But before I kind of complete it, there are a few things that I want to kind of move around and just make sure everything looks as good as it possibly can for you guys, because it's something I obviously hold very dear to myself but I know you guys are very kind of proud of it too and I want it all to kind of just come together as a, as a whopping good video that you guys can enjoy. Like I said I'm going to do the actual video where I'll just tour around with some nice music maybe and you can just kind of sit back relax and watch it and then I'll be uploading a video where I basically try and talk to you about every single bit of merchandise that I have within the collection so that video may take a few hours but yeah, it's something fun. It's something that I really, really want to do as well. I don't know what it is, but YouTube is taking a long time to process videos now into HD. So you upload the video, great, but it stays in like standard definition for like the longest time. So it takes maybe nearly two whole days once the video is uploaded for it to actually be out there in, you know, HD and maybe 4K as well. So apologies if some of the videos don't always necessarily look great when they first get seen. They may not be in HD, I don't know, but let me know in the comments down below if you think this quality of the camera that I'm using is it's okay. I mean, it's not perfect. I would love to be able to buy a proper good camera um, for you guys. Maybe one day I will. And uh, yeah, who knows? Christmas. But hey, I guess I'd probably have more money to spend on cameras if I didn't spend it on this stuff. But yeah, I enjoy it. You know I do. So yeah, this has really just been me chilling and chatting. I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, the unboxing was just kind of an added extra. That came the other day and I thought, you know what? I'll save that. I'll open the stuff up and then, you know, kick back and relax and chat to you guys. So thank you very much for watching this video. You know I appreciate every single one of you. I also wanted to say a massive hello and welcome and thank you for watching my videos to anyone outside of the UK. It's incredible that not only that, you know, it's reached England, but it's reached further afield. I've got viewers now in Germany, in Australia. Hi Ryan, how you doing mate? Um, I've also spoken to somebody uh, in France as well, um, Argentina, Brazil, we've, 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 we're just we're going global on this channel, it's amazing. So if you're outside of the UK and you're watching this video, drop me a comment down below, let me know which country you're in and tell me what your favourite Doctor Who villain is. I don't know, let's get interactive, let's do this. And for lovely UK viewers, of course, you can do the same. Let me know what is your favourite Doctor Who villain slash monster. I want to know. But until then, thank you very much for watching this Doctor Who video. I will see you all again for another one very soon. Goodbye for now. 
thank you to everyone for watching another one of my Doctor Who videos. I fucking love you all. I do want to say a massive thank you to my VIP patrons of Mark Thomas, Chris TJ, Sammy the Dalek, and Ben Taylor. And also, thank you so much to all of my other patrons Cybershade1, Boston Stew, Ryan Costa, Dalek Boss, Jeffrey16, James Griffin, Andrew23, Third Dr. John, Tiny Tower Kid, Flawless Reactor, Time Kid88, Cyber Daleks, Gary Humbert, Simon Taylor, Penny and Amber, Samson Cole, and Bev Richards. Thank you all so much for your contributions. You guys are helping keep this channel alive. <laughs>